Thank you for not making us poor or Samoan. Thank you for Maxim Pharmaceuticals, the latest M class, and that those that are less fortunate work harder. Santa Claus. To a fucking Christmas movie. What's up, y'all? So it's time to talk about Santa's Sleigh, released in 2005 and starring at the time one of the biggest mega stars from professional wrestling, Bill fucking Goldberg. Oh man, this movie is awesome. It's so underrated. Like I never see this one talked about in any hard group that I've been in. And since a lot of people have been doing their reviews for Christmas horror themed movies this year, uh. My good friend Derek from Derek's Horror Corner just did his review of Red Christmas, which is another one I want to check out. But this movie right here has a lot to offer, as you've seen in the opening clip of this video. Santa is a badass. He's not fucking around. <laughs> He's killing motherfuckers left and right, which is something I really love about this, because it's not your traditional Santa. He's not the nice little lovable poster boy for Coca-Cola, you know, if you know what I'm saying. And the basic premise of this is where Santa Claus has lost a bet with the Archangel from Heaven. Because in this universe, in this movie, Santa is not the traditional lovable, holly jolly fat fucker we all know him to be. Breaking and entering into houses every year on Christmas Eve and drinking all your milk and eating all your fucking cookies. Santa is an evil, vindictive, malicious version of him. Bill Goldberg's version. And it actually, in this movie, he pronounces his name Satan not Santa. So, he's actually the son of Satan in this movie. Um, he's the kind of Santa that would rather take a candy cane and shove it up your ass and turn you into a popsicle than to give you joy and happiness, if you get what I'm saying. So, yeah, he lost a bet. This game that he plays with this angel 5,000 years ago prior to the events of this film and basically, if Santa loses, he has to spend the rest of his life, or at least the next 5,000 years, giving joy and happiness and spreading cheer and all the goodwill to men shit to every child on earth for the rest of his life. And being the traditional, lovable Santa Claus that we all know him to be. But if Santa wins and the Archangel loses, then the Archangel will spend an eternity in the flames of hell, burning forever. And thankfully, for everyone's enjoyment... The Archangel wins, and Santa has to spend the next 5,000 years giving joy and happiness to all the kids on Earth. Well, 5,000 years is up, and Santa Claus has had enough of these shithead little fucking kids spending joy and bringing toys to all the little adorable little fuckers of the world. And he wants to go back to what he knows best, killing them. And don't ask me why. I don't know why Santa wants to do that. But it's seeing how he's the spawn of Satan and the spawn of hell, then I guess that pretty much sums it up. But if you're still not convinced of how vindictive and how evil this Santa Claus is and how fucking hilarious he is in this, because there are some funny-ass moments. There's some good acting moments. Uh, 
not really anything negative I can say about this movie. Uh, I like everything about it. It has a few cameos from a couple of good actors. Um, the guy that plays Nicholas, the young boy's main person in this, uh, the main star, his grandfather is, spoiler alert, the Archangel that defeated Santa 5,000 years ago. And when he defeated Santa, he gave up his immortality of being an angel to spend the rest of his life on Earth with his son, Nicholas. And that's so sweet. That's so touching. It really is. Touch me right here. But anyways, yeah. Uh, the Archangel lives with this boy named Nicholas who doesn't believe in Santa Claus anymore. He doesn't believe a word his cynical grandfather is saying. Uh, he thinks he's just a crackpot that's spouting out conspiracy theories. And he's not really sure that anything his grandfather says is true until the shit gets real. And Santa, or Satan, as he calls himself, shows up in Hell Township to remind Nicholas the true meaning of Christmas. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to go ahead and show you this clip right here where Santa crashes the party at a local strip club in Hell Township. Fucking awesome, dude. Wasn't that crazy as shit? I mean, Santa Claus in a strip club? I thought that was pretty damn funny. I really liked it. I mean, you got hot-ass babes in this. You got hot strippers. You got a badass Santa that's going around kicking ass and taking names. And he kills Fran Drescher in the opening minutes of this movie. So, I mean, that's a plus right there because I could not stand that bitch in the fucking nanny show. Mr. Champion. <laughs> I hate that fucking bitch. I cannot stand her voice. So fucking invigorating. So, that's the wrong word. So insufferable. Yeah. I can't stand her. Um, I will say she is hot. You know, she she's pretty sexy, but her voice is fucking god-awful. I just couldn't stand it. When Santa killed her and killed Chris Kattan, I thought that was funny as fuck. And also, the dad in the opening of this movie was the guy that played that writer in the movie Misery. So, with Kathy Bates. I thought that was pretty cool having him in this. And Chris Kattan was funny for what party, what time he was in it. But to see Santa kill him and everybody, it's just satisfying. And like I said, there's a lot of good kills in this, a lot of funny moments, great comedy in this. You got Debo from Friday in this at one point. So what's not to like? So I suggest you go off here, look up Santa Slay. It's available free on YouTube right now so you can watch it. And let me know what y'all think about it. And uh, see if it compares to any other horror theme Christmas classics that you like. Black Christmas, Silent Night, Deadly Night. Definitely fucking better than Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. That movie sucks monkey ass compared to Santa Slay. So anyways, yeah, it's been Savini Jason. And that's my my review. Blah, 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 can't talk. My review of Santa Slay from 2005 with Bill Goldberg. So let me know what y'all think about it in the comments below. And... I will be coming back at you with my review of A Nightmare on Elm Street at some point this week. But until next time, I will see you later.